Mastering Kanban System Kanban members are the key to operational excellence, but only if they collaborate effectively. What is the specific role that its members play in a Kanban system, and how do we facilitate effective collaboration among them to achieve operational excellence? In a Kanban system, the specific role that its members play is crucial in achieving operational excellence. A typical Kanban team consists of multiple stakeholders, each with distinct responsibilities and contributions to the system's overall success. To facilitate effective collaboration among these stakeholders, it is essential to understand their roles and how they interact with each other. Service Request Manager SRM. The SRM is responsible for managing the flow of work into the Kanban system. They prioritize and refine the service requests, ensuring that they are clear, concise, and aligned with the organization's goals. The SRM works closely with stakeholders to understand their requirements and defines the acceptance criteria for each service request. Service Delivery Manager SDM. The SDM oversees the end-to-end -end delivery of services, ensuring that the work is completed efficiently and effectively. They manage the workflow, allocate resources, and coordinate with team members to resolve any impediments or blockers. The SDM is also responsible for reporting progress to stakeholders and identifying areas for improvement. Team Members Team members are responsible for completing the tasks and delivering the services. They work collaboratively to break down complex requests into smaller, manageable tasks, and prioritize their work based on the team's capacity and the service request's priority. Team members are encouraged to share knowledge, skills, and expertise to ensure that the work is completed to a high standard. Operation Owners Operation owners are responsible for specific services or areas of operation within the Kanban system. They oversee the day-to-day -day operations, monitor performance metrics, and identify opportunities for improvement. Operation owners work closely with the SDM and team members to optimize workflows, eliminate waste, and enhance the overall efficiency of the system. Customers slash stakeholders Customers or stakeholders are the recipients of the services delivered by the Kanban system. They provide input on the service requests define the acceptance criteria, and expect timely and quality delivery of the services. Effective collaboration with customers and stakeholders is critical in understanding their needs, managing their expectations, and ensuring that the services meet their requirements. To facilitate effective collaboration among these stakeholders, several strategies can be employed. 1. Clear communication, encourage open and transparent communication among team members, stakeholders, and customers. This can be achieved through regular meetings, feedback sessions, and the use of collaboration tools such as virtual whiteboards, messaging apps, or project management software. 2. Defined roles and responsibilities, clearly define the roles and responsibilities of each stakeholder to avoid confusion, overlapping work, or gaps in delivery. This can be achieved through role descriptions, Raji matrices, or swim lane diagrams. 3. Collaborative goal setting, establish shared goals and objectives that align with the organization's vision and strategy. This ensures that all stakeholders are working towards a common purpose and encourages collaboration and teamwork. 4. Continuous feedback and improvement, foster a culture of continuous improvement and feedback. Encourage stakeholders to share their insights, ideas, and concerns to identify areas for improvement and optimize the Kanban system. 5. Visualization and transparency, use visualization tools such as Kanban boards, dashboards, or metrics to provide real-time visibility into the workflow, progress, and performance of the system. This enables stakeholders to make informed decisions, identify bottlenecks, and optimize the workflow. 6. Empowerment and autonomy, empower team members to take ownership of their work make decisions, and resolve problems. This encourages autonomy, innovation, and creativity, 
leading to faster and more effective delivery of services. 7. Service Level Agreements SLAs, establish SLAs that define the expected service quality, timeliness, and responsiveness. This ensures that all stakeholders are aligned with the service expectations and can plan their work accordingly. 8. Regular retrospectives and reviews, conduct regular retrospectives and reviews to reflect on the system's performance, identify areas for improvement, and implement changes. This enables the stakeholders to learn from their experiences, adapt to changing requirements, and optimize the Kanban system. 9. Training and Development Provide training and development opportunities to enhance the skills and knowledge of stakeholders. This ensures that they have the necessary expertise to perform their roles effectively and contribute to the system's overall success. 10. Incentivization and Recognition Recognize and incentivize stakeholders for their contributions to the Kanban system's success. This can be achieved through rewards, bonuses, or public acknowledgement, which motivates stakeholders to collaborate effectively and strive for operational excellence. By implementing these strategies, stakeholders in a Kanban system can collaborate effectively to achieve operational excellence. They can work together to identify areas for improvement, optimize workflows, and deliver high-quality services that meet customer and stakeholder expectations.